I know you said you felt that Tiger, team, Tiger King's team didn't make you look great. Did they tell you to take your shirt off for the interviews or how did that come about? They had suggested it. Yeah. And I don't know if everybody knows, but I was actually, there was a couple of interviews where I did have a shirt on and they had actually filmed quite a few interviews where I did have a shirt on. Did it bother you that they used so much footage of you shirtless? No, I didn't. Maybe they were just trying to maximize the sex appeal? Possibly, yeah. <laughs> I know with the show out, I've seen a lot of people, particularly men, saying they find you attractive. Do you find all the attention in the online thirsting flattering, or does any of it bother you? It doesn't necessarily bother me. I actually appreciate it. And, you know, I do support the LGBTQ and all them. And, you know, everybody doesn't deserve to be judged in life. They should be able to live how they want freely. And that's how I feel about it. I mean, everybody should have their way and live how they want. Yeah. yeah. But you don't mind everyone online saying, wow, he's hot about you, or like putting you in memes, talking about like how you're some crocodilian daddy or anything. Uh, no, it doesn't bother me. It's actually flattering that they do that. And... <laughs> Good. Did you see Sylvester Stallone's family dressed up as the Tiger King cast? I did, and you know, it's really appreciative that they accept the Tiger King the way they do, and to be an A-list celeb, and to do that for people that are just now coming into the celebrity lifestyle, that's kind of a huge honor for them to do that. Did you see that his daughter dressed up as you? Yes, I did. <laughs> And she almost got everything to a T, except the glasses. They were the exact same kind I wear. They were the exact same kind or not? Yes. Okay, they were. Very nice. Have you seen other really great tributes to John Finlay out there? I've seen the Dave Bautista one. Um, there was one meme where they did uh, Channing Tatum as me. Um, there's been quite a few, but those two, it's like a huge honor to be. Oh, there was also one of Adam Levine, too. So, yeah, it's a huge honor to be compared to them. Yeah, I know you've got a little scruffy look going on right now, but would you consider a career in modeling? Um, right now, that's kind of just an open thing. We're seeing how it goes and just living in the moment right now. You had the privately owned by Joe Exotic tattoo covered up, but you have other tattoos dedicated to Joe. Do you plan to cover those up as well? Yes, I do. Uh, me and my tattoo artist right now are in discussion of what to do, uh, but nothing is actually set in stone of how it's going to be done. How many of those do you have to cover up? Too many. <laughs> but over five? Under five? <laughs> Under five. Do you think Carol Baskin was portrayed unfairly in the show? You know, I can't really form an opinion about her because I don't really know her. And I've only met the woman twice, but that was in a deposition. And I never really spent any time around her or anything, so I can't really form an opinion or even a negative one about her. Interesting. So, you know, I was curious, do you actually believe that Carol, do you believe that Carol actually killed her husband because Joe said that so much or did you have your own opinion about it? Yeah, I don't really have an opinion about it because nobody knows all the facts. Nobody can know what happened because it was 20, 20 something years ago. Or yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah, I imagine with we're talking about it all the time as if it were true around you. At one point, you might be thinking, "Okay, maybe this is true," but I didn't know if you had sort of formed your own opinions about that in in the meantime, or if you sort of went along with what people were saying or, or believed that. Uh, no, and everybody around me doesn't even talk about it. We we just focus on what's going on around us instead of the whole world outside. Yeah, but even back then, it, like when when 
people at the zoo were talking about it. You were just, you stayed out of that? Yeah, I stayed out of it. It's just, I mean, why talk about somebody that has gone and he's, maybe a crime is committed, maybe not. I, why talk about it and reflect on it?